Hey friends, it's Ali and in today's video, we're doing a monthly reset and shopping. And we're going to shop for a lot of different things. And this is for the month of February. This is what I love to prepare for the month. Usually I start out with a little bit of planning. And instead of sharing a lot of the planning items that I go through, I just wanted to share some of the planners that they have. These are from Home Goods, and they are lovely. They are beautiful. They're bringing out some more new ones. Planners, journals, you name it, they've got it. Little notepads. I love, I'm just such a big goal oriented person and you know i'm a planner nerd i really love everything to do with reading writing planning and even just reading beautiful things like these here these little devotionals are also perfect to start your day and of course i always love pens and pencils markers now this is a beautiful kate spade planner but 15 dollars i thought was a bit pricey because it's already into like since last year these are gorgeous oh my goodness all these home decor supplies for home office are beautiful or even just for your regular office they are so beautiful you guys know i love the glam i love everything wood with metallics like this beautiful clock here it's beautiful so if you're looking for storage and organizing yourself this year which is one of my goals is to declutter and organize my home these are totally up your alley they are so beautiful and i just love them all so one of the things i want to recommend is that you measure your areas that you're going to be organizing because i've learned the hard way that if you don't measure your areas you end up going back to the store like a gazillion times around and look guys i'm sharing a lot of the pinks and even the neutrals like this one here like a terracotta color trash bins because i feel like waste baskets are sometimes you know so dull and boring but they are coming out with beautiful new ones like these florals ones oh my goodness i thought they were so cute and of course the neutral ones i love the neutral ones but i don't like like the black or gray ones i feel like they're so industrial looking but um look at these baskets oh my goodness these are definitely what i'm loving right now is a lot of this neutral whitewash look it's beautiful gorgeous Another area that I like to look at is to refresh some of my hand lotions, fragrances, all the home scents. And these are definitely something that I had not seen here. It's, I don't know if it's Mrs. Myers, it says Meyer on it. But anyway, so these are beautiful too. They're perfect for springtime, even for Valentine's Day and carry you through the spring. And guys, look, even a pink brush. How cute is that? and this is a cute little i don't know they're like squishmallows and these are beautiful oh my goodness so cutesy cutesy all these dish towels for valentine's day are beautiful i wish they would have brought them out a lot sooner but you know home goods is a, all the stores i feel like they're coming out with them a little bit slow because you know it valentine's day does get here before you know it so it should have been brought out a lot sooner but uh, these little gnomes are so cute they have all styles i have to admit though i have to stay away from them because you can gather uh dish towels like you can accumulate so much and currently i'm decluttering my home look at that johanna parker i did purchase that you guys may have seen that in one of my hauls and uh if i can think of it i'll put a link down below to my haul but uh basically it was basically my only haul because i'm not really hauling a lot for valentine's day i feel like i don't want to clutter up my home anymore with so much decor especially for the smaller holidays now christmas and halloween and that's another story <laughs> but anyway they do have a lot of beautiful oven mitts as well and just so much to choose from <music>
remember to look at your inventory first too because a lot of times we forget what we have friends so that's another tip for resetting your month and this is kind of like a reset monthly if you will series that i'm starting and i hope you guys will enjoy so pillows is another way to refresh your home and reset if you will for another season and these are beautiful because they're pink for valentine's day but it can carry you through the entire half of the year through spring and summer even so yes these are beautiful i consider that pale pink to be like a neutral for the first part of the year and also these are beautiful even though they're simple yet they're simple yet beautiful and some of these are like a farmhouse style now these are more of the throws these are throws that are beautiful and again the pinks are going to carry you because they don't have a lot of hearts uh, some of them or most of them they will carry you through the um, first part of the year i was going to take that kate spade planner but i thought about it and it's like no 15 dollars. i'm going to leave it remember to refresh your towels as well because that's another area that sometimes need refreshing in the bathroom also don't forget your bedding bedding can be expensive but i think it's pretty much pretty good here and especially if you get the high quality ones they will last you for a while i know some of them have lasted me in the years past for a couple of years when i got them here from home goods and then this is a lucky brand rug don't forget to refresh your rugs your carpets and things like that as well as your furniture look at these oh my goodness this chair is everything to me and especially in pink but i wouldn't purchase it because you know i have a small space and i don't want to keep changing colors but if you're looking for your pets they also have the cutest pets don't forget them they have their little hearts too so don't forget your fur babies that one is something i would buy for mine but i didn't want to splurge on it let me tell you i'm kind of cheap on some things and there's some of the books i was looking for uh, in my cart but i ended up taking them out because honestly i don't need any more books but i was perusing over the bowls for the pets because because you can use them for your kitchen they don't have to be just pets you see that white and gold i loved it and also this beautiful jar now this i would love for my pets so i could put their treats in there but it's kind of chunky so i'm going to stay away from it but these are cute little treats that they have here they have leashes they have collars and vests everything and i love the theme of valentine's day guys these are so adorable so cutesy cutesy now think of these little plushies that you can actually use on your tier trays as well so they're not just for pets and you can even use this big old bone for like a a little pillow as a pillow that's what i do sometimes and these are adorable as well I was looking in this section for bedding and I love these but not at the price you know most of these are like $50 and up and it's not in my budget but it's something to think about because if you invest in quality bedding it will last you a while like the one that I have I think I've had it for like a couple of years now and these are beautiful curtains I love these in pink they have this little glimmer to it this little glitz and glam which I love I don't know if you guys could see it I was trying to change the lighting so you guys can see the shimmery you could see it a little bit right here it's beautiful one of the areas I forget to refresh are your carpeting, your rugs, your throws, and not your throws, your rugs for the kitchen, the outdoor area. That's one of the areas that I get really bad in. I keep them all year long sometimes and they end up looking dingy, but I do have to refresh. Now, these beautiful lamps, I'm not into looking for lamps right now, but I want, look at that, my happy place. But um, I do like to peruse over them because they are pretty and look at the pretty and pink one that is so cutesy cutesy these are different i don't think i've seen those before i like to look at the furniture i like a lot of these little tables i'm glad that home goods has a little tables for the people that have small spaces like i do but that was a different one did you see that that was a unique different table 
now this cutie pies oh my goodness cuteness overload here with these beautiful puppies you could use them anywhere i've seen people have actual bedrooms for their pets how lucky are they <laughs> you could totally put these in the room and guys someone asked me to share some of the cat toys and i honestly just have overlooked them so i apologize so here's a cat toy it is cute pricey but cute it moves about and such so i don't know but anyway so they even have little pet carriers as well and these are adorable now my doggies do not they cannot stand clothing or i would be getting them at least something like from here like this this is so cute the snoopy in pink but yeah my little doggies they will fight to the end and shake it all about until they take all the clothing or until we feel, we feel bad enough to take it out so i just don't put them through that i think it's like my kids say it's torture so i try not to sometimes they'll do it if i offer them a treat and they're kind of trained to do so like just for the pose but once i give them the treat they fight to the death to take it out so i have to trick them but they trick me too right but anyway look at all these beautiful pieces i love these branches here these gorgeous leaves and the vessel and guys i regret not picking this up i had it in my cart it's a beautiful like it has a seashell at the end of the beads beaded uh beads i guess but i didn't take it now i could kick myself i know i'm not gonna find it it's a beautiful piece pillows are great but if you don't want to spend a lot of money just buy these little ones they are so cutesy cutesy and guys there's gnome galores here and they are on clearance i happened to pick one out that i will share in another video but let me tell you it was pricier and it's beautiful though i'm not really into gnomes but i have been purchasing gnomes every season because i love the ones that i have picked out they're so cute and adorable and my style so if i do buy something like that a gnome it has to be something that i have to like it has to be breathtaking to me but these are all beautiful as well and they are all all on clearance how cute are these the legs oh my goodness cuteness overload for sure now these are also on clearance guys so this is the time to really shop off season for those florals that you want and this year the stores are really stepping up their game with putting all these on clearance ahead of time like way sooner than they normally do so for you to take advantage of that look at these gorgeous beautiful wall hanging decor you know from time to time it's good to change out your decor in your walls but look at these trees i love those ever since they came out i hope they go on clearance soon as well as this beautiful heart i had that in my cart too but i <laughs> took it out i don't know why i should have taken the heart instead of the gnome but the heart was pricier you know one of the things i decided to do this year is to make like a list i'm a list maker as well and i wanted to make a list of things that i want around my home so what you can do is a tip i can give you is to just go into every one of your rooms and take inventory of what you already have and i'm probably going to do that on video and share with you and take you along in my journey i did this when i was doing organization videos a while back and i want to do those again because and it's going to be my sunday reset uh, or my weekly reset or yeah i think that's where i'm going to do them because you know this is a way you can really organize your spaces but also take inventory of what you already have and also you know just make a list of the new things that you want and what you want to change from that room whether it be the wall decor the bedding the sheets the furniture even or just little pieces of decor that you would like because one of the things that I have found is that sometimes I just randomly pick up all the items that I love and when I take them home I don't know how to combine them because it's not the style that I'm going with or the particular color that I'm going for that season for like Valentine's Day for, for example you know I bought neutrals and then I bought color but you know Valentine's Day is such a short time period and it goes by so fast that it's like now i'm stuck with like i have to hurry up and <laughs> decorate for the next color so you end up spent overspending if that makes sense
It's always good to treat our loved ones with a little bit of a special treat, but to be honest, coming from Christmas, out of Christmas, treats, we have so much leftover that I had to donate quite a bit. So now I'm going to shop sparingly for these special treats. And don't forget your fur babies, they need their little special treats too. I didn't show much for them, but just as a reminder, that's something to always refresh their little treats. I did give away the ones that I had from Halloween. They were still good, but it was just too much. So what I'm doing now for my kids is I'm just buying their favorite chocolates and maybe just a couple, like maybe two or three. But that is a tip that I give you. You could buy and then donate what you don't have, what you don't get to eat, or you can even just buy them in smaller packages. That's what I've been doing. And look at this cutie, but $17. I know a lot of you like Annalie, so that's why I share it here. I love it too, but I just cannot spare the price for those. I also like decorating with containers like this one here. It's gorgeous, beautiful. And also with candy. I like decorating my tablescapes with chocolates and candy. Now guys, these are beautiful. I really like these. They're so beautiful. You guys know when I sing, I really loved it. And then these are little, I don't know, what are they, porcupines? I also like to refresh my table runners. I know I have a beautiful glass. Um, it's actually mirrored table. If you guys haven't seen it, check it out because it's gorgeous. But sometimes, you know, all that glamness, I like to de-glam it a little bit. And so I do love changing out and putting on some placemats, some table runners, some tablecloths. And basically runners are the ones that I love because I like to see a little bit of the mirrored piece of the table but also some of the gorgeous runners and they're cheaper too they're cheaper than tablecloths lately and these are beautiful napkins as well some of these are on on clearance guys and they're from Christmas but you could carry them over to Valentine Valentine's Day now this one is gorgeous the conversation hearts it's so cutesy cutesy <music> Hobby Lobby has the best cute little wall decor, especially these hearts. How gorgeous are these? They're so beautiful. I totally love them. And this one is a little bit more neutral, beautiful nevertheless. Here's my little girl, Phoenix girl. She's enjoying her Valentine's Day blankie. <laughs> she loves them. That's one of the things she will wear is blankies. Another way to reset your month is to declutter and that's what I'm doing here. I will put a link below to the decluttering series that I have on my Sunday resets because that's important to do and I'm not necessarily getting rid of some of these but just decluttering them out of my home into the garage. Look at these cuties. Oh my goodness. Cuteness overload. So whether you're getting plushies or chocolates or candy, remember that love month is really about showing your love because there's no point in giving out gifts to someone that you've been nasty to the week before, right? <laughs> so the best thing is not the chocolates, not the flowers, but the love that you show. So as I said, decluttering is one of the things you could do. And this is what I have organized in my garage, actually. And I'm also bringing out some things. But here's a glimpse of what I've been doing in that decluttering series. So check it out down below. Sometimes it's great to look at the clearance section because you can find real, real gems there that you didn't know were there. Now this is beautiful, but the it was still pricey at $32.00. Beautiful Ray Dunn piece, but I had to pass it up. It was very tempting though, and so were these. Love Potion with the little heart handle. I loved it. But $13 is still a little bit pricey, and this one I really loved. Yours truly with the cute little envelope. I don't know what it is, but that envelope, that love letter really gets me. I guess it reminds me of when my hubby, well he still does, wrote me love letters like way back since day one and i really love that it just reminds me of him and these gnomes gnomes galore as you see here now we're at tj maxx here guys 
and they have cuteness overload as well but i feel like tj maxx still doesn't have a lot of valentine's day i don't know if you guys are you know running into the similar situations that truck with the florals is beautiful though and so is this you guys know i love glam so i definitely didn't pick them up but i love them and these are cuties now we're at ross really quick here sharing some of these new little finds that i found not too much they didn't bring out too much either yeah i was kind of flustered with the stores this year because they really didn't seem to bring out as much as i was expecting but it is what it is when life gets too hard to stand kneel my friends amen to that anything that has scripture i really love and look at these these are at ross here and they have all variety of colors that will carry you from valentine's day through the entire half of the year i really love all the devotionals and look at this clear out the clutter do you ever feel like god speaks to you in different ways well i always go to the stores and i open up the book and i say god please tell me something a message i need to hear and he points it out and this is what it was clear out the clutter <laughs> amazing how god speaks to us right I hope that this video brings you some ideas to refresh and declutter your home and really set some goals for this month. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to live well, healthy, happy, and organized. Many blessings and stay tuned for many more videos coming up. And let me know if you like this type of video. Thanks for watching, you guys. Have a beautiful and blessed, happy Valentine's Day.